Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live 3, and it's the preseason round 2. I was very confused for a second there, I thought I missed a round, because um, I only saw round 2, but now apparently I recorded the preseason round 2. I must have, uh, I must have thought this was round 1, but regardless, you know, it's good to get into it, um, you know, get, get sort of the, uh, the team lineup sorted, have a bit of a run through with the full playing roster and, you know, see what we can do. Teams, fairly different, obviously. This is a fair few years ago, so, you know, Rad Radra is still there. Um, I think, wait, was uh, as the offload <laughs> straight away? Not, probably not the smartest idea. Um... Good lord. Um, but they have who the, Luke Kelly's there. Kieran Foran is at the Eels this year. Um, who else are they? I mean, they have Watmo was uh, on the bench. They still had Corey Norman, who was on the bench as well, which is weird. But Nathan Peets, as uh, we're going to be offside there. They're not going to go for two, unfortunately. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like Rugby League Live 4, where they go for two every time. And then, on the back of that, there was try, John Folau. Um I don't really know what happened with um, John Folau. It's, it's poor defense. Um, they all just jammed in. I don't know what our center was doing. He was, so <laughs> no, he was, he was just in no man's land. But, yeah, John Folau, I mean, he... It, yeah, it probably is like a couple of years ago now where he, he made his debut. He, he seemed to have a couple of... A few games for the Eels, as uh, that man again, John Falao, is just going to barnstorm his way through some flimsy defence and score the second try in uh, in not too many more minutes. So this is uh, not a good start at all for us. <laughs> not a good start at all. Um, but yeah, he he played a few games, and I thought he was going to. Um, that's fantastic play getting onto Kevin Naguama here. Looking to link up, it is to Tim Simone. I threw the off way. This is just, just reckless stuff right there. It's reckless. Um, but I, th I thought he was gonna, you know, become a regular first grader, potentially be a bit of a, a star in the making. But I don't know. I don't even know what really happened. I, I, I think he might still be like, um, at the Eels, like low, yeah, low grade footy type stuff, I don't know, maybe he's gone to, you know, what the heck is that, <laughs> oh no dude, that was, I mean, that one, I probably shouldn't have, I was trying to get it off to, um, one of, it, like, the winger or the fullback who were back there, but, you know, this game, this game did have a few issues, I'll say, a few little gameplay, um, issues, for sure, that one right there, for some reason, all our attacking line just sort of went upfield, even though the pass, I mean, I, yeah, probably shouldn't have passed it. We're, uh, we're 12 nil down. Let's just, uh, let's just try to get into the groove. It's obviously, you know, coming from the nines, I was probably a little bit too, uh, you know, reckless with the passing. It's, uh, it's always, you know, it's tough coming from the nines because you have so much room. It doesn't really matter if you, you know, turn the ball over, um, this and that, but uh, getting into the full team here as the possession came is just uh, destroying us at the moment. But uh, the good thing about this game is you actually have a chance to get the ball back from a short kickoff. They nerfed it like a lot. Um, when the game first released, you could... Yeah, it wasn't consistent, but it was it was fairly common that if you kicked it right... Um, you could get the ball back with a tap down, but uh, they definitely nerfed it a lot. Like a lot of when you kick it short, your players don't chase straight away. Um, I think you, I'm pretty sure you can still do a short kickoff in this game. I don't think they completely got rid of it. As uh, that's a nice play from the Eels getting onto Rad Radra there. That was, you know, the AI, honestly, I again, I, I think I talked about this in a previous video, but. I really thought the AI was like worse in this. In it's another thing that I sort of, um, I thought I remembered from this game was the AI just you know being very like not very bad but definitely not 
that good. But I don't know when I when I've come back here, I've like, you know, they do draw and pass a bit. Um, they don't quite run as like freely as like in rugby league life four for sure. Like they are more much more straight. Um, running, but they do step, which the step is very OP in this game. So it's 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 tough to tackle. There's a good ball there. David Nofaluma going for the corner, but it's a huge tackle there. Who is their fullback? I have no idea. I didn't see. Was it... Is Michael Gordon? Is it Gordon? Yeah, it is Gordon, the uh, fullback. He's been in the Titans for a couple of years. I, I forgot that he, he did play. And then he was... No, he was at the Roosters before the the Titans and uh, the Eels before that for a, for a long time. So, yeah, Michael Gordon. Obviously being the a few different clubs, um, you know, just solid player wherever he's, wherever he's played, uh, but 12 nil still, we, we've definitely steadied the ship, the sinking ship as it was, um, we're looking at, you know, look, not looking great for a, for a victory, it's Dean Hallitau is going to get injured, um, and then Kieran Foran is going to score again, I don't know what our AI defense were doing there, they just sort of, they all swarmed the blinds, like, Go back and watch that. They all sort of just took off uh, down the short side. And then Kieran Foran just swooped around and just went through a yawning gap. Um, but yeah, not not good to for an injury to Dean Hallitau. Very good. Very good utility player for us. He's going to be good in this career. I always like Dean Hallitau um, as a forward. Again, I mean, I threw the offload. We were in goal. It was probably, you know, not a bad risk. To, <coughs> excuse me. Not a bad risk to take. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the early injury in a preseason game, not what you want, but, uh, we do have some decent, de uh, depth, you know, we, <coughs> excuse me, thanks, jeez, something to my throat, <laughs> seems like every video, every time I'm making a video now, something like goes to my freaking throat, dude, um, yeah, we have, uh, we have decent depth because there's a lot of players as, uh, this one, pretty annoying, um, what most scores? I don't know. I don't know what Tedesco was doing. He just sort of ran out of the way. You know, <laughs> like I said earlier, there's, there's definitely some gameplay issues with this game. And uh, you know, playing playing more of this, it definitely, yeah, you know, it definitely reaffirms the fact that Rugby League Life Four uh, is a substantially better game, like a better polished game than this. Um, I still stand by there's definitely some good things about this game and some probably better things in uh, Live 4. But, uh, yeah, that's the first full... It wasn't even round one. It was a preseason. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.